You're currently serving your second term as chairman of the uh, Asian Pacific American Caucus. What can you tell us about the caucus and your experience with it and, and what the caucus is trying to accomplish? That's a good question. Um, when Normanetta was uh, a member of Congress, he started this uh, caucus along with uh, Bob Matsui. And it was an effort to pull together Asian Americans uh, who were in Congress and Congress folks who represent a, a population that has a critical amount of uh, Asian American uh, uh, constituents. And the purpose is to be able to represent some of the unique uh, needs and perspectives that Asian American communities have in this country uh, historically and those who are newcomers. Uh, because there are, there are things that we know and understand as a community that needs to be blended into the, um, the greater process of policy making and advocacy. Um, this past couple of years, we've made uh, KPAC, the Congressional Asian Pacific American Caucus, a um, truly a functioning caucus because now we're dues paying, and we have a professional staff, and we're on par with the other caucuses, uh, like the Congressional Black Caucus, Hispanic Caucus. And it's our goal to work with them also to on common interests. And one of them is uh, working at the health disparities that exist in this country for all of our populations based on ethnicity, language, isolation in, in uh, communities. Um, and um, because all of us bring to the floor, uh, bring to the table, the perspectives from different parts of this country uh, where our communities live. And um, you can't expect someone who, who doesn't have that background to fully understand or fully appreciate what is going on. So it's our responsibility to bring those issues forward. And uh, again, it's like what I said previously, that it's our private lives that we, we convert into public policy to make that policy more engaging and precise. That's, what we, that's, that's our effort to uh, be part of that whole political process and lawmaking process. And Asian Americans have a, a piece in that. It's to be a voice also. I started the um, um, Ethiopian caucus because they said they wanted to be participatory and they wanted a voice. And coming from my background and the Japanese American experience where in knowing what happens when you don't have a voice in Congress, um, I said that I'd be pleased to um, help start that. And, we have other members of Congress who are part of that uh, process. And, you know, I, I've gained a, a greater insight of that community and the diaspora of Ethiopians so that it helps me to understand and think deeper and clearer about the Asian American diaspora here and our, our value in this country in the context of globalization and trade and other, you know, uh, foreign uh, diplomacy. It's, it's been an invaluable experience, and KPAC has been uh, invaluable in providing me that uh, insight. Do the several groups that exist in the Congress help to keep citizens apart, or do they help to, keep, to bring them together? I mean, if you have a black caucus, and a Hispanic caucus, and an Asian sure. caucus, and an Ethiopian caucus, and an Irish caucus, and, there are, and it goes on and on, how does that bring people together? It provides uh, a, a, a podium for the communities to go to. Um, you mentioned Irish caucus. Uh, it provides uh, the Irish community who have um, distinct issues, especially in the recent past. And uh, back in 86, they had issues around being undocumented, and they were able to get their issues known here in Congress. And so when Reagan signed the, the amnesty bill on for the undocumented, that community was uh, one of the major communities that was impacted. So it's not about separation, but it's about providing a voice at the podium. And then when we developed our tri-caucus, the uh, Black Caucus, the Hispanic Caucus, and Asian Caucus, and we, we have the, the Native American uh, folks in along with us, it provides us a, a leverage where we have over 70 members who can speak with one voice on an issue such as health disparities, such as voting rights acts such as education and things like that that we have in common. And we can bring 
our perspective to the table along with the other members. So it's, it's a very positive, unifying um, um, process. And we say democracy is participatory. And so we add that element of participation for the communities too.